In this Gibbs Cam Tech tip, we'll look at how to get a model oriented and positioned correctly in the Gibbs Cam workspace when it opens in some combination of 90 degrees out of the desired position. I want to position this part with this face up and the cylinder feature to the right. I also want the origin to be set to the top left rear corner which once we get the part in position will be this corner of our work envelope. So the first thing I need to do is get the top of the part parallel to the XY plane and facing up in the XY plane. So I'm going to select this face and if you select that face or you select the face and the entire model selects, just turn face selection on so that you can select and work with individual faces. So I'm going to select this face, right click on it, and come down to a line face to CS. And when I click that, what happens is the part will move to the current coordinate system with the face that was selected pointing up in the coordinate system and the origin of the coordinate system will be in the center of the face that was selected. So we're now looking at the part in this orientation so we're flat to the coordinate system, but I still want to rotate this so that the cylinder feature is to the right. So with some portion of this part, any portion of it selected, I want to come over to Modify and 2D Rotate. I want to rotate this part around the XY origin clockwise 90 degrees. And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and go to Modify and Shrink Wrap to fit my stock definition around the part. So we're now looking straight down on the part like this. So the part's in the correct orientation. We simply need to move the origin to where we want it, which is this corner. And that corner is made up of essentially this face, this face, and this face. This will be the X origin, the Y origin, and the Z origin. So with the part kicked around where I can see those three faces, I'm going to go to Modify, Move Part Origin, and with the X field highlighted, I'm going to hold down the Alt key to activate the interrogation cursor, and I'm going to click on the face that I want to be the X origin. And when I click on it, it'll fill that X value in with the lowest X value on the, on the face that I clicked on. I'll click in the Y field, I'll click on this face for the Y origin, click in the Z field, I'll click on this face for the Z origin, and hit do it, and my origin moves to the correct corner. Now this part is ready to be saved, and then start developing toolpath on the model. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo back to where we started, which is here. And I want to look at this from a, a slightly different perspective. Uh, when I do this part in class, it's not unusual for me to be asked, well, what, what if I wanted the origin to be the center of the bore rather than you know, a corner of the, of the work envelope? And, and frankly, the bore is more realistic considering this is a weldment especially. Uh, so let's take a look at that briefly. Uh, the process is going to be the same uh, except that instead of aligning this face to the CS, I'm going to align this face to the CS. And what that will do is it will move this part, so I, I select that face, come down to align face to CS, it puts the center of that face on the XY origin. So our origin is already correct, the only thing remaining to do is to 2D rotate the part to put the bore feature or the cylinder feature to the right and then to shrink wrap. And now this part would be ready to save and begin developing toolpath with the origin at the top and centered on the bore. So this is a simple way to orient models that import or open out of position but are still oriented to a primary plane in Gibbs Cam. In other words, they are some increment of 90 degrees out of plane or out of position. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to your Gibbs Cam reseller.